like Kiara. Blah. Catch your own <laughs> out when you're like constantly revisiting a really negative emotion or feeling or thought or experience and just trying to change over to a positive one. Show it justice on here. It's orange. It's so orange. What are you guys watching? We're watching Home Alone. Home Alone. Look, well, it's not all over here, but I know. I think it's gonna rain. It looks beautiful. It doesn't really look the same on camera, but it's kind of like hazy looking. Hey. Yeah, in the middle here looks like a big rain. Yeah. But what happened to the sky? It's just a big rain cloud. It's a big rain cloud mixed with the Sun, sunrise, yeah. So wow, pretty. This is amazing. So nice, hey. Oh, it's starting to rain. Good morning, guys. Yeah, this is it. It's a rain. Oh, it's because it's a big rain cloud. Oh, Kurt's in the sauna, guys, this morning. I just woke up before and I was like, babe, go jump in the sauna and do a cold plunge. In the morning. Oh, wants to come out. How did you go? Sweating. Sweating? My sleepless nights. Look at the rain now. It's so nice, hey. I got the I know. I got the kids out here before. They were like, look at the sky. <laughs> Is it there yet or not quite? Nah, still gonna be off, but it's like still nice. Now it's mum's turn to go in a sauna. Can I come in with you? Come in the sauna? You can probably... How about I come in for five minutes and then go in the pool? You want to? Yeah? All right. You guys can do the cold plunge with me. Okay, I'm just going to reset it because Kurt... I've got 15 minutes left on it. There we go. Okay, got to find a book from my bookshelf before I go in. I really like this book, guys, The Success Principles, but I have read it all. Good book to, like, refresh on, though. I want, like, a happy, uplifting one. Maybe I should do this one again. It's not a lot of not giving a... I feel like I'm pretty good at doing this now. Don't you think? Mm. Oh, I should read that one that's in my handbag. I have this one book that I like to leave in my handbag. I'm gonna bring this one in. It's like a good pick me up, you know? Bless you! A good little pick me up. You can be happy no matter what. I like how you're holding your um, texter now, hey? Holding it good? Yeah, you know, put in some grey. Maybe grey is for bunny. No. What do you got then? Um, oh, you want an egg. Always do the best part first, hey? And then I'm going to do inside if the ears pink. You're going to go in the sauna too? Later? I want an egg too! What colour is your egg going to be? Down in, Link. Down in. Are you staying? Yeah, go quick. Yeah, I'll stay with you. Plunge. <laughs> Ten seconds. <laughs> uh, wait, watch this. Mom, watch this. Oh, it's getting cold. I'm going to do a front flip. Go. Will you watch this? Yeah, go. <laughs> it's cold, eh? Well done, Link. 
I have missed that guys. That feels so nice doing the sauna and cold plunge. I'm so excited for winter. I feel like Kurt and I get into like such a good swing of doing that in winter. But yeah, I was reading some more of um, that book. It was mainly just saying that, you know, our thoughts are all voluntary. Like we can pick to think whatever we want to think, but whatever we choose to think, decides how we feel and the more awareness you have around your thoughts and that it's literally just something that comes to us and not actually take them personally or take them on board and just take them for what they are which is literally just a thing that comes into our head um, the happier we are because we can just go okay that's just a thought like let go of that think about other things or not dwell on things either or like yeah, it's about catching yourself out when you're like constantly revisiting a really negative emotion or feeling or thought or experience and just trying to change over to a positive one. And it's so simple, like so many of us know this, but it's just like nice to have the reminder. She eating paper? Are you eating paper, Reese? Oh, you didn't make me a coffee? No, I didn't hear any sauna. <laughs> okay, I'll make one in a second. A person's understanding of the relationship between thought and reality can be put on a continuum. My thoughts represent my reality or my thoughts are only thoughts. On one side, clinically, this would be psychotic. A psychotic experiences every thought as reality. Somebody who 100% takes every single thought they think at face value is basically someone who is psychotic because their brain will be going like, do this, do this, do that, and they do it. They don't actually think like, oh, it's just a thought that I'm having. If he thinks he sees a monster, he runs from it. Regardless of the content of his thoughts, he believes them to be reality 100% of the time. That's like one end of the scale. On the opposite end of the spectrum is the person who understands the thought process, a person who embodies mental health and happiness, a person who doesn't take his own or anyone else's thoughts too seriously, a person who rarely allows his thinking to bring him down and ruin his day. A person on this side of the scale can have any thought run through his head and still understand that it's only a thought. Most of us fall somewhere in between these two extremes. Very few of us take all of our thoughts so seriously as it to be considered psychotic. Surprisingly, however, even fewer of us truly understand the nature of thought enough to fall onto the right-hand scale. So there's more people out there that are psychotic and completely believe their thoughts than people who like do not take any of their thoughts seriously. Most of us believe that if we have a thought, it's worthy of serious attention and concern, but if somebody else, so basically because it's ourselves, it's in our own voice, it's in our own head, and it's your own thought, that's why you take it seriously, even though it's not even an anything, it's just a thought. But because it's you and you trust yourself, you're like, oh, that must be true. Yeah. Because oh, you're just like thinking you it. Told of something about someone, you already yeah, you get told, well, like, yeah, you get told about something about someone, but that's just, and again, too, that's just somebody else's experience with that person and there's so many things as well that can make someone's experience with a person that they don't like them they can not like someone purely from the first time they see them because they might go oh this person looks like a teacher that i had 10 years ago that was really rude to me and was really loud and blah blah blah, blah. and because that's been their experience they literally see someone and they generalize that person because it looks like that person or speaks in the same tone of voice as being as bad as that person so cool. This is so much of my stuff that I've like learned in coaching. I find it like it's just so good to refresh your mind on it. it just makes you just want to like live life to the fullest, not take anything personally. It's just like such a good little refresher. The brain is a fascinating thing. It is. It's so interesting. My brain is. Thank you. Your brain is too. What did mum just do to dad's back? The big crack. Now dad's going to try to do mum's. You ready? No, I won't cry. Put your arms under, like go under and through. Yep. And then just gently. Blah. That was Crush my your own arm. arm. That, was <laughs> that does not feel good. That yeah. <laughs> does not feel good. How can we do it? Like this, okay, now lean, lean your neck up. I'm gonna get this. Stop waving. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you do a gentle push, but not hard on my back. Gentle one. Ready? My hands are turning red. Oh, Okay, I'm good. He's ready to go. We're getting out of this house. Oh, cute. 
cute. We are heading out of this house. It's still raining, guys. It's just been raining literally for eternity lately. Wait, just jump in it with me. So we were like, one place is open, the Pottsville Bakery, and we've been there before. The kids loved it, so we're like, let's go. Let's go to the, yeah, jump on in. Jumped in. I thought it was a lot funnier than that. <laughs> How did that happen? What was that road work? No. Nice. Oh, Look how dirty it is, guys. Ew, we're gonna have to clean that when we get home. Yep. That is so dirty. No. I write in my name. <laughs> Wait, why are you holding James in like that? <laughs> Should we sit inside? Yeah. What is it? You're gonna get yourself seated. Yeah. You're a city sausage. Like I don't know what I want to get. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a flat white happening. What have you got, Rigi? Apple juice. What do you got, Link? Ginger beer. Ginger beer. It's your mummy one. Kiara. It's like Kiara. Who's like Kiara? That's like What's mine? Like Rigi, do you know what's mine? She says the apple looks like mummy, like me, Kiara. You're gonna eat that. So it's pretty good. And oranges too? Chocolate. Chocolate. Mm -hmm. Trust her, you're straight for the chocolate. Yeah. You can have as much chocolate as you want. It has fully fined up, guys. It's nice and sunny. Sun is shining. I know, I might go beach this afternoon. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. How'd I end up with the whiskey? <laughs> Like like this? Yeah. I did it. No, you do this one, Riggs. Remember how you do this one? <laughs> Put two middle ones down. Yeah, keep your pinky up. <laughs> mm. I can try it. Yeah. Mm. Now hold it with your thumb. Yep. Yeah. And then hold it with your thumb. I'm trying to talk dad into on Easter afternoon sleeping at Big Dad and Grandma's house. Yeah. Like the whole family sleeping there? Having a sleepover? Sleep in my own bed. Oh, you don't want to have a sleepover there? Because then we could just stay like later and. I don't. Oh, okay.